let's start with the next knowledge area under the project management we already learned about the project integration management and the project scope management now we basically learn about the project time management so this is also an important knowledge area in project management and also a part of triple constants is very important the knowledge areas which are coming under the triple constants are very much important from the project management aspect because any of those knowledge area or any of these triple constants are getting impacted the whole project is going to be impacted okay so in the project time management as i said earlier this is also an important aspect of project management it includes the processes required to manage the timely completion of the project it is one of the important knowledge area and covers one of the major one of the other major triple constant that of time time management is another key aspect of managing a project it has to be as such it is considered to be a core knowledge area and is closely knit to scope and cost so triple constants are project scope project cost project time and project quality we already talked about the scope we are learning out now about the time we learn about the cost and quality in the latter sessions the main purpose of this knowledge area as its name suggests is to build processes and outputs into the project that assist the manager and team to complete the project in a timely manner so the basic purpose is to build the processes and provide an output which can be you know provided to team to complete the project in a timely manner time management is the act or process of planning and exercising conscious control over the amount of time spent on the specific activities so if you don't monitor these things on frequent basis you never know when your project will go out of control so as part of the time management you have to ensure all the time in fact on frequent basis all the project activities are getting executed on time the activities which are sleeping okay take a corrective actions on those and plan for it so that those activities can be brought on the track uh, brought on the time and you basically meet the project schedule and that to that you need to concentrate on the activities which are the critical part of the project so we we'll learn all that what is critical part of the project what is the critical chain and all as part of this knowledge area but as there are some activities which are contributing to the critical part of the project and those activities has to be ensured that there is no slippage if that gets slipped then definitely your project is going to be delayed for sure so for a project manager it is important for important to manage the project schedule as a whole but in addition to there should be always a special attention needs to be given for the activities which are on the critical path time management may be aided by a range of skills tools and techniques used to manage time when accomplishing specific tasks project and goals complying with the due date so if your activities are getting impacted because of productivity issues okay so you have to bring in some effectiveness by you no know, having some quick learnings for the associates who are basically lagging on their activities because of productivity okay you need to see some quick uh, tools which basically help associates in order to improve their productivity and all okay so that has to be taken care a time management a, sorry a time management system is a designed combination of processes tools techniques and methods time management is usually a necessary in any project development as it determines the project completion time as as per the agreed scope as like other knowledge areas this project time management also includes few processes which are called as project management processes and as per the standard there are seven processes which are part of 
the project time management knowledge area and those are marked in red here first one is plan schedule management second one is define activities third one is sequence activities fourth one is estimate activity resources fifth one is estimate activity durations sorry fifth one is activity estimate activity durations sixth one is develop schedule and seventh one is control schedule okay so there are seven project management processes as part of the time management processes there were six in project scope but there are seven in project time management so it is bound to be bigger than the project scope as well see my dear friends you need to be very uh, particular on this because there are close to 45 to 46 processes and out of that 20 are getting contributed only in the integration management scope management and project time management and there are rest of the seven in knowledge areas as well so these are the very important knowledge areas of the project management and one has to get a basically hold on it okay so each of the above processes will require specific inputs tools and techniques and to generate the expected output as usual for other processes we have defined in scope and integration there are seven project management processes in the time management knowledge area six of these are in planning process group and one is the monitoring and controlling process group so again this time management knowledge area is contributing most of to the planning process group or most of the time management activity has to be done as part of the planning process group means you should be good in planning okay and only one process is getting contributed to the monitoring and controlling process group okay so this is what the chart says even project scope management processes so the project time management processes so plan schedule management define activities sequence activities estimate activity durations estimate activity resources and develop schedule will be become part of project planning process group and control schedule is only one process which basically becomes part of the project monitoring and controlling process group the first planning process that of plan schedule management creates the schedule management plan which is the framework for all other processes so basic framework for the time management gets established in this process plan schedule management process okay in this process the schedule of the project schedule management plan gets created and then that act as a framework for all other processes the second process through the second through six planning processes are done in sequence so plan schedule management and then define activities then sequence activities then estimate the resources then estimate the durations and then finally develop the schedule so that will happen in sequence but may be done in iterative fashion as well so it's not like that once you done and dusted and there is no need to change the schedule later on yes the planning and replanning has to be carried out so those activities which are becoming a part of coming up the schedule of the project okay if there is a change in schedule has to be reiterated once again so we we'll learn each and every process in detail as part of our next session